you're going to find wonderful day to us. Everybody must be happy in Christ. Nobody should be in a bad mood because everybody must be in a good, happy mood. That's what God wants us to be. You know, Satan's plan is to make us sad, but understand one thing. You must be happy always. That's what God wants us to be. Today the words which God is going to he has given me is from the book of Isaiah 55 chapter 55 12th verse it says that for you shall go out with joy and be let out with peace the verse is saying that you shall go out with joy and be let out with peace many people in this world are not happy because they are they are facing many problems they are in the midst of many trials they do not know what to do next they cannot succeed in their problems but realize one thing our god is faithful the god which has called you will be able to help you to come out from the situation so only if you concentrate in jesus only if you are happy in the lord that then only lord can do something i see so many people who are sitting here with sad faces please show your face shining like that. then only god can do some miracle in you hallelujah i see i believe that god is going to do great things in your life hallelujah so the verse is saying that you shall go out with joy many people are doing many things to become happy many people are going to the beauty parlor to be uh, to become to make their faces become beautiful because why they want to become happy they think that if they are beautiful they will become happy many people are running after many finance problems many people are facing many finance problems and they are doing uh, uh, trying their best to make money why they are trying to make money because they think that if they get money everything will be come they think like that but if you get money if you get something a material something anything you won't become you don't have peace but if jesus comes in your heart you will have a peace when jesus comes and stay in your heart you will be always joyful hallelujah say loud hallelujah hallelujah say loud once more hallelujah 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 so i believe that god will do many miracles today so. hallelujah so many people are running after uh, peace but they are not getting peace we can see that many businessmen in the world many uh, famous people many cricketers film stars many businessmen many politicians they are running after peace but they cannot get peace i know a prime minister of one nation i am not telling the name that prime minister told me she could not, she could not sleep well she could not sleep well because every time when she is uh, when she is about to sleep one demon will come near her and she could not sleep so she is saying that only 2 or 3 hours she cannot sleep so because of that she doesn't have she is ruling a nation but she can, she is not having peace because she is afraid of darkness she is afraid of night so she is not having any peace realize one thing my dear friends when jesus comes into your heart you will have joy that that joy will not be within you it will overflow it will overflow to others so you give your heart to jesus then jesus will come and stay in your heart in the book of john 14:27 jesus said that peace i leave with you my peace i give to you not as the world gives so jesus when comes jesus will give you peace that peace is not the peace like what the world gives if i give you a uh, if i give you some money i am telling you today that i am those who are sitting here i am telling that i am giving you uh, 10000 rupees to every person i am giving 10000 rupees today then your your face will be happy 
But no, if I am, I am telling you that I am giving, I am uh, giving you some uh, house uh, houses for you to stay. Then you will, you will be happy. You will be happy when you get a material benefit. But if you um, uh, get any material benefit, you will be happy. But you cannot have peace. Only Jesus can give you peace. When you get a material uh, thing in your hand, you will be happy for a certain time. But that happiness will go. But if Jesus is with you, that happiness will remain forever. And Jesus will give you peace. That's what the verse, I saw 55, uh, the verse 12 in the chapter 55 of Isaiah saying that you shall go out with joy and be let out with peace. If God sends you, you will be happy. If God doesn't send you, we cannot be happy. Because in the book of Leviticus 26 chapter 6 to verse 6, God is saying that God give peace to the land. And God is saying that you shall lie down and none will make you afraid. I see some people, uh, those who cannot sleep at night. I see many people. Many people here are sitting here, they cannot sleep at night. They are thinking about their future. You are thinking about your future. You are thinking about your future. You do not know what to do next time. But when Jesus comes into your heart, you will understand one thing that Jesus will guide you. Many people are after material things. They see the material things first and God only in the second. But seek first God, then the material things second. I am holding this mic in this way. But if I hold this mic in this position, I cannot uh, hold the mic like that. That is not the way. This is the way to hold the mic. Similarly, you must seek God first, then the material benefits. But people are seeing the material benefits first, seeking God only second. Every children I, I see, parents also make the children go early for exams. But to the church they come very late. Parents are not bothered about the children whether going to Sunday school or not. They are not bothered whether the children are listening to the pastor's message. But they are much bothered, bothered about the ch in their children's studies. That's the reason why you are not getting the blessings. Because you are, you are concentrated after material blessings. Your mind and your conscious mind are all after material blessings. But you are not bothered, you are not worried about God or his, his ministry. So, Bible says that in the book of uh, Matthew 6, chapter 6, 32 verse, it says that first seek the kingdom, then everything will be added unto you. First seek the kingdom, then everything will be added to you. So, if you want a material blessing, first seek God, first seek the kingdom, then everything will be added to you. In the God's ministry, the first month's first five month salary will be paid only in the sixth month. This is this that you know why it is like that because otherwise people will everybody will do the Lord's work. It is not easy to do the Lord's work. It is very difficult to do. God will test will, will pass through under many tests and after uh, winning all these tests, then only we will we'll be able to. Um, do the Lord's work and receive all the blessings. What I say is that many people here are not uh, having many no peace in their are not having any peace in their home. Many people are worried about their future. Many people are worried about uh, their education. Many people are worried about their job, everything, about their marriage, everything, about their fi fi financial problems, everything. But realize one thing that if Jesus comes into your, into your heart, all the blessings will follow you. David was a shepherd. He was not born in a royal family. David was not born in a, uh, a royal family. His parent, his father was not a king. But he ruled Israel for more than 40 years. God gave him his wisdom everything. God gave him ability, everything to rule his life. So, need not worry about your future. You rely on God and God will lead you. 
So, in, um, but the verse is saying that you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. This is not for this time, but for every time, for every day, you will be in joy and you will be in peace. How many of you believe that? Those who believe, say, please say loud hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once more, once more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, if you believe that, the peace will be about you. Not the world's peace. The world's peace will be for only a certain period. This is the peace of Jesus. This is the peace of Jesus. When Jesus comes into your heart, first he gives peace, then he gives all the material blessings, secondary only. But when you go to somebody else, when you go before a man, they will give you material blessings and will make will make you happy, but you won't become happy. Even if you will be happy, that happiness won't remain for long because only God can give you peace. Hallelujah. In the book of Psalm, uh, Psalms 34 chapter, 14 verse, it says that, uh, depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So, you have to uh, seek peace. How you have to seek peace? There is a way to seek peace. First do good, depart from evil. Cain, Cain murdered Abel and he had no peace. He was very angry. And God came and asked Cain, why you are angry? Because he sinned. So if you do sin, you won't have peace. If you want to be happy, you must depart from evil. That's what the uh, in Psalms 34, 14 verse is saying that depart from evil and do good. If you depart from evil and if you do good, automatically Jesus will come and stay in, inside your heart. Jesus will come into your heart and Jesus will give you heart. So you must seek peace and you must pursue it. We know that we know a man, his name is uh, Zakai in the Bible. He was not a follower of Jesus. He was a rich man. I know I can say that Sakai Jakai was a rich man. He was honored in the society. He, he had a me, me, he had a job. He was he, he was a tax collector. He had a, a big uh, job. He was honored not only in the church but in the society also he was honored. Moreover, he was a rich man. But he had a family, he had wife, children, everything. But one thing he lacked, that was his peace. Understand one thing that even if you have everything, it is not sure that you will get peace. You will have family, you will have children, you will have wealth, you will have position, you will have honor, you will have good job, everything. But I am asking you, from morning till this time, are you in peace? Even if all these things that which Jakai had got, which you will get, will you get peace? No. Unless Jesus comes into your heart, you won't get peace. If only Jesus comes into your heart, then you will have peace. And Sakai had everything. He had everything, but he lacked one thing, that was peace. So he, he realized that. He got a revelation that only, only if I seek Jesus, then only I will uh, have peace. In the book of Psalm, is, it is saying that seek Jesus, seek. In the book of uh, Psalms, the 34th chapter 14th verse, it is saying that seek peace and pursue it. So you have to seek peace. How you will, how you will seek Jesus? How you will seek peace? You seek Jesus. If you seek Jesus, you will seek peace. If you seek Jesus, the peace will follow you. So Sakai, in order to seek peace, in order to attain peace, in order to have peace in Sakai, what he did? He, he climbed upon a tree to see Jesus. And Jesus was passing by. So he came to know that he never meant that he never knew that Jesus would come into his house. But 
he was much prepared jesus knew his heart so jesus came into his house and said sakai i am going to bless you from today onwards you are going to be blessed you are going to see the salvation jesus told him so after that he was having much peace then he confessed everything and he, he told jesus that whatever i have taken from people uh, as money and other things i will give that back in four folds so when you have peace you will have you will confess when you have peace you will have a prayer life when you have peace you will have repentance so if you want to get saved if you want jesus in your heart you must seek jesus you must seek peace everything all the material benefits will follow you there are many obstacles for getting the uh, material benefits don't seek the material benefits but seek jesus first then everything will be added to you hallelujah the book of philippians 4 chapter 4 6 to verse it says that be anxious for nothing but everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god once more i am reading the philippians 4 6 philippians chapter 4 6 to verse is saying that be anxious for nothing be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksing with thanksgiving let let your request be made known to god so one thing you must realize that the main thing for unhappiness the main thing for not uh, having peace is that is worry that's why the verse is saying that be anxious for nothing if you are anxious you cannot have peace the verse is saying that don't be anxious satan will put something anxious in your mind so don't be anxious so verse is saying that be anxious for nothing but for everything you pray when you pray automatically the peace will come into your heart when peace comes everything will follow the material benefits everything will follow abraham had a promise from god but he waited patiently because he had peace in his mind for 17 years he waited for his deliverance for 17 years he waited to see his presence but he had peace in his mind you know even the leader moses was not able to enter the promised land because and sometimes he, he became angry because of his angry mood he was not able to enter the promised land so if you want deliverance if you want the promise to be achieved you must have peace in your mind so peace is the secret for the deliverance you know when a people a non believer when first when he comes to the church what will happen even uh, before coming to the church he will be his mind will be wandering my experience i am saying before coming to the church i was uh, i was not peace, peaceful my mind was wandering after many things every, every day i was looking after peace i was looking after material benefits but i had no peace but when i came to the church you know what happened jesus came into my heart first when jesus came into my heart he gave you know what he gave you he gave you peace that's what uh, in the book of john 14th chapter 27th verse it is saying that peace i live with you i leave with you my peace i give to you not as the world gives but not as the world gives do i give to you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid once more i am reading that peace i jesus is saying that peace i leave with you my peace i give to you so in jesus there is much peace before receiving jesus christ as my savior i was a worldly man but i used to pray to all the gods i used to pray to all the gods but uh, i had no peace from morning to evening i used to pray to all the gods but i didn't get any peace but when i realized that the key of peace is in jesus i kneeled down one midnight in my home and 
and I pray, Jesus, come into my heart. I pray. Then at the moment Jesus came into my heart, and from that moment onwards, till this time, I have the peace. Don't think I do not have any problems. I have many problems. I am going under many troubles, but I have much peace. From the, where this peace comes, it is from Jesus, because Jesus is inside my heart. The word says that Jesus is in, in me. In Colossians 1.27 it says that Christ is in you, the hope of glory. Many people believe that their body has so many organs, their, their body has heart. Even if you ask a child, the child will say, say that my body has a heart. The child will say that I have an um, intestine, I have a kidney. But if I, if I ask a grown up man, do you believe that if Christ is in you? He doesn't believe because, but he believes that he has internal organs in his body. So the people, all the people will believe what they study, what the doctors say. People will believe what the doctors say. People will, will believe what the teachers say. But nobody will believe what the Bible says. The Bible is saying that Christ is in you. In Colossians 1.27, he says that Christ is in you, the hope of glory. How many of you believe that Christ is in you? If Christ is in you, understand one thing. Your face will be shining like sun. You will be shining with the overjoyance. You will be much happy because Christ is in you. When Christ is in you, you know what will happen. Peace will come automatically. You don't have to seek peace. You do not have, you do not have to wonder uh, after peace. You do not have to um, go after peace. But seek Jesus, the peace will come automatically. Today in the museum, in Trivandrum Museum, I see many people are doing exercises. Exercise is good for health. But I um, sometimes think when I see those people, they are running, they are doing some other jobs and even if they are, run, they are running around the museum for good health and everything. But I sometimes think, while they run, let these people fast. Once in a week, let them fast. They will have good health. Actually, hold, holding this mic and saying, I am I never do any exercise in my I, I am not doing any exercise in my uh, life. But I pray always. I fast and God has given me a good health. There is no disease in my body because Jesus is in me. Everything is good, exercise, everything is good. But it won't give you peace. Some people go to the liquor shop for happiness. But after when the liquor will go out of their head, all the happiness will go. But when Jesus comes in you, you will be happy for all. Because Jesus has the power to give you peace. Hallelujah. Shaka Bara Baba. God is removing all the headache from you. I see some headache in you. God is releasing that headache from you. Hallelujah. Those who have migraine, you pray. Hallelujah. God is healing you. God is healing you. Those who have migraine, you pray. Hallelujah. God is healing you. Hallelujah. God is making you to win over uh, your enemies. God is making to win winning, making you to win over your enemies. You believe? Satan won't win. Only you will win because you have Jesus in you. There is peace in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in the book of Philippians 4, 7, it says that, And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. All understand one thing, only through Christ Jesus you will have peace. Even if you stay in a big house, even if you have a good job, 
even if you have much money, back, much bad balance, there is no guarantee that you will have peace. But even if you do not have anything, if Jesus is in, in you, you will have peace. When Sakai re realized that Jesus is the way to get peace, he, he didn't even think about his position. He was a man honored in the society. Just think about a man honored in, in your society climbing on the top of a tree to see a God servant. When Jesus was, when he came to know that Jesus was passing that way, he, he was a man of reputation, but he climbed on the top of a tree to see Jesus. So if we want to see Jesus, you must put away all your position, all your um, uh, all your um, worldly things, all your material things, everything you put aside and be free in mind. Whatever you think uh, in your mind, that away, everything you put away and you submit to God and you will see Jesus coming in and stay in your mind. We can see one lady in the book of John, in the book of John chapter 4, we can see one lady. Um, that lady's name is not written. We, uh, we call her the Lady of Samaria. The Lady of Samaria. In the Samaria town there is a lady and she was leading a sinful life. She had many aspects and nobody will come to her but Jesus came to see her. Jesus came there alone. Jesus walked along in the in the noon in the in the in the noon Jesus came after walking a long distance. You know why Jesus went to see her alone? Because she wanted deliverance. She was seeking peace. She knew that her time has come. And she used to take the water from the well. She used to take water only in the noon time because in the morning, evening time, people will come there. So she doesn't like to face people. So, so she went in the noon time to take water from the well. And Jesus noticed that and Jesus came there alone to deliver. And after having conversation with Jesus, that woman of Samaria had much peace. Jesus poured out his spirit and the peace to him. So understand one thing, when the Holy Spirit comes, realize one thing, my friends, when the Holy Spirit comes, Holy Spirit will give you peace. The nine, one of the nine fruits of Holy Spirit is peace. So when you have Holy Spirit in you, automatically there will be peace. When you have Jesus in you, this, the same Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus. Automatically the peace will come in you. There is no other way to get peace. People are running, doing everything for peace. They are doing, they are trying, even people working in company, in techno park like big companies, they are not satisfied with their jobs. Even big, uh, those people who are sitting in good uh, positions, they are looking the advertisements. Why? They are looking for better jobs. Even they are um, having, um, yesterday when I went to a um, coffee shop, I saw uh, some, one, a couple of lovers. I saw some lovers sitting there. Boys and girls, boyfriend and girls, girlfriends chatting in the um, coffee shop. But at the same time, they are looking at their mobile. They came to the coffee shop to see their lover, but they are not satisfied with their lover, but they are looking at the mobile, scrolling. Because they are there, they do not have peace. Even if you go to a, any hospital, we can see people without peace. If you get deliverance in your body, will you get peace? No. A physician can give you uh, healing in certain disease, but he cannot give you peace. When you take medicine, you will get uh, the healing. You will have healing in certain diseases when you take medicine, but you won't have peace. 
even for a mental patient when he gets the uh, shock when he gets the shock treatment he will have the that disease mental disease delivered but he won't have peace when he take eye medicines maybe his mind will be uh, in a sleepy mode but he won't get peace many people are seeking after peace but they are not getting it the only way to seek to get peace is seek jesus jesus has said that i am the way the truth and the life jesus is the way the truth and the life and jesus has said that only through me you can enter heaven so when jesus comes into your heart not only he gives you peace but he will give you eternal life and all the material blessings today this morning i am telling you those who have come for the fasting brother i tell you that i see many people with sad faces many people are worried about many problems you just put away all the all your worries that's what the verse is saying be anxious for nothing if you are anxious will, will your problems will solve no you cannot solve your problems only god can solve your problems only god could uh, put anything uh, to you only god can deliver you from your situations so realize one thing that if you want a deliverance you must have a peace of mind if you want uh, deliverance you want peace of mind that's why when a believer when a non believer first comes to the church with a wandering mind when a person comes to the church first jesus will give him peace i used to go to the hospital ministry in my early days some people used to tell, told me some uh, worldly people told me why you are uh, telling about jesus to that people you prescribe some medicines for them you that medicines will deliver them those non believers told me why you are going to hospital ministry and telling them about, about jesus you prescribe some medicine or uh, 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 try to get get some medicines that that medicines will deliver them those will be stored but i told them when jesus comes into a person first he will give peace and that peace will give deliverance when when you have peace there will be time to pray when there is no peace you you know that person when a person who is not having peace he is not having prayer his mind will be always thinking worried about but when you have peace you will have a prayer life you will have the time to meditate the word of god you will have the time to read bible then all the blessings will follow you hallelujah god is going to extend your boundaries those who are uh, sitting here those who are watching the media holy spirit is saying that god is going to extend your boundaries many people are worried about your future but one thing you must realize that when jesus comes into your heart at the moment when i am saying is jesus in your heart if jesus is in your heart you will not be worried if you are worried it means that there is no jesus in you so when jesus comes he, he will give you peace hallelujah we can see um, in, in the book of bible if we can see when we read bible all the god servants all the holy men of god they all got deliverance because they had peace nobody had uh, 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 nobody had a, uh, uh, nobody had without any peace everybody had peace even you can uh, read the book of da daniel we see that even just before he was uh, ordered to put in the lions den he was lying peacefully what's the secret daniel was ordered to put in the lions den but that night the king who ordered daniel to put into the lines then he, the king didn't sleep well but daniel slept well why what is the reason it is because god was in him the spirit of the lord was in him and the spirit was giving him much peace that is why in the book of leviticus 
26 chapter 6th verse it says that God Jehovah is saying that I will give peace in the land and you shall lie down and none will make you afraid this verse you, you understand this verse I am telling you I am explaining you why why how Daniel slept very well Daniel was about to be in the uh, uh, lion's den the next morning but he slept well the secret is that you, you hear this verse in the book of Leviticus 26 chapter 6 to verse it says that I will give peace in the land and you shall lie down and none will make you afraid I will rid, rid the land of evil beasts and the sword will not go through your land so this was in Daniel's mind I see so many people cannot sleep well they are worried about their daughter's marriage they are worried about their future they are worried about their children they are worried about their marriage they are worried about their financial problems but one thing understand one thing that God Jehovah is saying that those who take heed the word of God realize this you shall lie down those who do not are sleeping for many days for many months from today onwards those who are listening this word you will sleep well from tonight not me I am saying but God is saying that you shall lie down and none will make you afraid so God uh, Daniel realized that God will be with me so I won't be eaten by the lion and he slept well but the king who ordered Daniel to put in the, in the lion's den he didn't sleep well for sure you will win over your enemies when Jesus comes in you you will be a winner not a loser hallelujah so my friends you seek Jesus and the peace will follow you so God is going to deliver you from everything I am going to pray for you I, I am going to pray for you everybody of you stand up hallelujah I see some people are having those who are watching the media also some people are having tumor in their body God is going to heal that tumor right now in the name of Jesus everything is burned all the growth all the growth in your body are burned by the fire of the Holy Spirit the fire is coming upon you everybody of you stand up everybody of you praise God hallelujah 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 God is going to deliver you God is going to touch you those who have many problems in your life God Jesus is going to enter your body you cry to Jesus please Jesus come and stay in my body forever I do not have any peace I am thinking about my material benefits I am thinking about my job I am thinking about my house I am thinking about my health I am thinking about my future maybe you are crying like that but stop that crying you cry like this, Jesus, come and stay in me. Come and dwell in me. Come and reside in me, Jesus. I have no peace. Lord, give me your peace. You come and stay in me, Lord. You cry like that. Now Jesus is touching many people. Now Jesus is touching many people. You are getting peace. Jesus is going to come and stay in you. Jesus is giving you peace. Yes, peace in you. Hallelujah, Shaka Bara Bala. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, everybody is having peace. Oh. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Those who are, do not have peace, those who are wandering for peace, those who are wandering in the wilderness, seeking peace, those who are not having peace for many years, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray. Let Jesus touch them. The Jesus who came to Zacchaeus house and told that from today onwards you will see the salvation the same Jesus is touching you hallelujah 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 I pray in the name of Jesus touch you 
touching you in the name of Jesus I pray Jesus touch them hallelujah I bless each and everybody in the name of Jesus amen hallelujah